Hey, and what is up everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we are going to be diving deep into what's coming in the next Southwest Florida update. Now there is tons of stuff, and a lot of YouTubers don't really go in detail and in depth to what is actually being added. They leave a lot of stuff out. Not this video. It is going to literally be the entire just all the information you need to know um and more that you might not need to know but you're gonna know but anyways let's get right into the video now the first thing we have is these i'm pretty sure fictionalized lamborghinis now these are non-copyright they were talking about making them um and i think they they look really really cool um, also just really quick, we're going to be going in order to what I see on discord and everything I see on discord will be put into this video. But anyways, like I said, back to the Lamborghini, they look really cool, really sick, and it would be a treat to have them come into game. Here we have the Sparrow Motorsports, uh, aka the dealership and these these look pretty pretty cool so we got the porsche over here it looks like new textures new lights it looks a lot more i don't know it just looks a lot better than the current one it's more realistic there's colors over here a little table then we got um we got the shop it is this is where we um you know, design our cars and stuff, upgrade them and all of that good stuff. So this is the re revamped version of this. Here's the outside of the dealership. Looks really, really, really cool. Very, very sleek in design. Um, not too complicated. And um, here I'm going to assume is the front desk of the dealership. And it looks really, really nice. I mean what a dealership should look like. So yeah, I'm super excited for this to be added. Here we have the Seaside Bar and Grill. Uh, as you can see, we got a dock. Um, we got really detailed waters. Uh, we got a little bit of landscape going on with the rocks. Uh, the building looks to be redone and looks 10 times better um, than the one in game. Here's another angle very very nice we got the tables out in the front and it looks like if you can uh see over here we got a boat a boat is just off the can or just off the picture view i guess you could say um so really really cool and then here is just another seating area if you also look in the background there is a boat on the le right hand side um of the picture so really 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 cool i cannot wait for seaside bar and grill to come to the game it's one of my favorite locations in southwest florida here we got new headlights for a new uh revamped vehicle coming up uh a lot of people are saying it's a camaro but you let me know um what you think here i can't really tell but a lot of people think it's a acura and honda i'm not really sure i some people are also saying that this could be a Porsche, so y'all let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Here's Stigrid, uh, Stigrid, or however you say their name. They said, I'm cooking up some heat right now, so this must mean there's something big. Uh, there's been a lot of promised things uh, that has been pictured, um, so I'm really, really hoping that they're really cooking up some heat for this next update. It should be amazing. I cannot wait. Like, I'm actually really, really excited to see what comes. Alrighty, so here we have, um, a Discord little, um, messages going back and forth. Uh, Khan says, uh, separate. There will be three dealerships, two boat related and one car related. Um, and then someone was talking about the Ford Hennessy, uh, and then another vehicle limited, and they said maybe a smaller used car dealership, IDK, still sell the same cars. So just like Greenville, how we have a rented, like rented dealership, and then we have the main dealership, Southwest Florida might do that. So that is really, really cool here. Um, they... 
they said the smallest boat I want to do like the one one of those camo bass boats. Um, so bass boats could be coming, and then we also have another. Um, little message over here. It says right now the biggest boat I have planned is 85 feet It uh, is 85 feet, but I haven't really looked at anything bigger and they also said I want to do yachts So I'm not sure. Oh wait uh, Posted in the means 100 Okay, I wasn't really sure what that said, but anyway, so the smaller boats will use a trailer but the bigger ones uh, they previously said you need to um you need to spawn in the water. Um, here I have the I have both messages or three messages. Um, so we'd maybe need to separate boats into two cal categories: trailerable boats up to like twenty six feet or so, and then anything bigger would need to be spawned in the water. So that is very very interesting. Um, I really, really hope they're looking into pontoon boats. That would be really, really cool if they could do those. Alrighty, so here is another building. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure which building this is, but here it is in the daytime. Here is at night. It looks really, really cool. If y'all know what this, um, what these buildings are, please, please let me know. I'm really interested in knowing what these are here we have the fintech um revamped interior now this looks really really nice um here we have the new front desk the new um meeting room uh which really needs a revamp because the meeting room is kind of goofy looking and then here we just have some office spaces now i'm not sure if it if this building is the new fintech building it kind of looks like it mainly because you can see the car garage back there but um i guess we'll just have to wait and see until it's added here i'm going to assume we are getting new homes it doesn't look like uh, apartments or like hotels or anything it really does look because there's a backyard and stuff it looks like new houses now this could be the new houses that they were talking about uh when they were talking about like the mansions uh which we already got some off the beach, but I know there's going to be a whole neighborhood of mansions. So I'm not really sure if these are it, but we got the garage, we got a game room, we got the bedroom. And then it looks like we also have the living room, breakfast table room, and then also the kitchen. So that looks really, really nice. Here they are working on a Nissan really really cool uh pretty sure this is going to be a revamped one so i'm i'm cannot wait until these um are updated in game okay and here uh we'll have more pictures of this later on but um one of them is making a large construction site and they also built a crane they said i had a irresistible urge to make a crane today um, so definitely there's going to be cranes in this, um, in this new update. Here is a, another car brand coming to game soon. Um, y'all let me know how excited you are for this car brand to come. Um, I'm really, really excited and I think it's just going to be amazing to see what kind of builds people build with these. And then here is the construction site with the cranes now these are absolutely crazy cool i mean look at that we got a cement truck we got that little pickup truck over there um which i'm gonna assume is revamped because currently chevys and gmc's and all of that are not around at the moment uh, and then we just got these two massive cranes very 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 detailed um looks amazing and i cannot wait for what type of role plays and drifting we can do around here it would be really really cool here are a few more pictures of this construction site looks really really cool um and then as you can see there is a gooseneck trailer back there um more on that a little later um and then we also have um new water texture new sand texture it looks like a new newer dock 
Um, I'm really, really glad they're revamping this whole beach side because I currently it's literally just a straight straight line of sand and nothing really else. So, um, yeah, really, really cool that they're making this game so much more realistic. It's going to bring the game to life a lot more. Now, we also have a video. I'm going to go ahead and play it right now. Um, and y'all let me know what you think. As you can see, the water is moving. It looks a lot more realistic. But then we also see one of the boats coming to game. Um, and you can see how it's rocking in the water. Really, really, really cool. I, I'm i stoked for these boats to come. So this one might be one of the boats that go on a trailer. But I'm not really sure how long 28 feet is in, like, Greenville's... Or, I'm sorry, not Greenville. Southwest Florida's, like, measurements. So, yeah, this will be definitely interesting to... C. Here we got more info on the Nissan. Um, looks really, really cool. It looks like they are revamping this thing pretty fast, so um, hopefully these, this will come in the next update. Here we got a night shot of a lamp. The light, a, I just want to point out, the light looks uh, much more illuminated and much more realistic. And then, of course, you can see there's a dock there. Um, this could be used for fishing boats or pontoons or something. Um, and then we got the background of the city. Um, it looks like we might have either like a little bay area, uh, like a little, uh, no wake zone. Um, and yeah, this looks really, really cool. Here is another picture of this branding. Looks really, really nice. And, and then I think to what this picture is, um, someone also said possibly one of the boat harbors, smaller ones. So this might be a smaller boat harbor. That would make sense considering the dock is not that big. Um, and then we have land from over here to where the buildings are. So yeah, this will be definitely interesting. Now, here... This was posted with development blog, and if we take a closer look, look, we have some pretty huge leaks. Uh, first off being in the picture, you can see boat rental, new Coast Guard boat in the background, so that could also be a future job. Um, first look at the first harbor. Again, there's going to be multiple harbors. I know that for a fact based off what they said in the past and what they're saying currently. And then other boats shown in the background. So definitely more boats are coming to the game. It's super, super exciting. Um, looks really, really nice. Really, really peaceful. Um, and yeah, so we'll... We'll, we'll see if this comes next update. It should be. So, I don't know if this is a joke or not, but someone said trying to convince Scene to let me make a trap house. That's going to be interesting. Alrighty, now I'm not really sure what car brand this is, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'm more, like, knowledgeable on trucks and stuff and, like, really old cars. Yeah, a lot of the newer stuff I'm not really um, familiar with, but it says Unleashed Dynamic elegance um the hezen r3 um so hezen yeah hezen r3 so and it looks really really nice it looks really really cool uh nice headlights um and then it also looks like this is a newer track so we might be getting a race track in the next update maybe but we'll see what happens okay so just so we we're, we're clear these are map fillers. I'm not really sure if we're able to go inside of these buildings later on, but for right now, these are map fillers. So here we got um, one building. It looks like it might be like a hotel or motel. Here we definitely have the motel. Now, as we can see, there are cars here blurred out. These, it just just saying, they kind of look like Lamborghinis. I'm not, I'm not. Don't take my word for it. Uh, that's just what I'm saying. It, that's what it looks like, in my opinion. And then here is more map fillers, more like in the city type stuff. This is really, really cool. 
We got another building over here. This looks like it might be off to the coast. And then we also have a roundabout, which from my knowledge, Southwest Florida does not have yet. Here we got a smaller, what looks to, to be like a multi-complex with a corner restaurant over here. Looks really, really nice. Here we got a intersection. Beautiful. And then we got the construction site with a massive, and I mean massive roundabout. I'm going to be nervous trying to find my way through this roundabout, but it is so detailed. I mean, if you really, really take it in, um, this is just absolutely amazing. Now, it looks like we will have stoplights here, so hopefully that will make it easier for us to navigate. Plus, if people just follow the arrows, you can see you go straight here, you keep on going straight here, and then you can turn. It, it, it will make sense once it's in-game. So, yeah. Alrighty, here is something that Kai had to say. Much more importantly, did you know that all signs in Southwest Florida V3 will be within Department of Transportation Highway and Roadway Code? So, that just, that, um, that just adds so much realism um, to the game that they are going based off highway and transportation code or roadway and highway transportation code. That is really, really cool. Um, Crunchy, Crunchy Rock said RIP low end devices. Yeah, if uh, you might, you might want to get a new device if yours is more low end. I'm not sure how well um, your game is going to be able to handle this update, but yeah, we'll, we'll, see what happens later on here we have new pistols it uh, looks like locks uh new automatic weapons M many 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 um weapons it looks like with the pistols we got the one 1911 the black lock 17 and then the smgs uh they got the scorpion evo 3 s2 Draco and the Draco NAK9 um, rifles. The three black ones are M6 carbonate. Sorry, my screen's very, very blurry, so it's kind of hard to read some of this. AK 47, uh, SVD 63, and then shotguns. They got the M4. Looks really, really cool. Really, really realistic. I cannot wait until these come to game. It's going to add a whole new realism to the criminal and um, and the uh, police officer jobs that we have going on. And then we also have, here we have the new Lamborghini, um, new Lamborghini brand. Um, looks really, really cool. Really, really nice. I'm so excited for these to come. And then we got the Hurricane uh, EVO and STO. And then they said they're also adding 3D rims. So this will be really, really cool. Um, hard to see, but the STO has pipes where the vent would be on the normal ones. So they are, they're definitely coming up with their own uh, designs. But anyways, that's all that I have for you people today i do not have a release date but i would assume um it would be coming in the next month or two maybe over the summer as like a summer update um which i think would make sense um but you know we'll we won't know until the update actually drops or we get continuous leaks i will update y'all weekly on these updates so if you did like the video please consider liking and subscribing comment down below what else i should do um go look at my community post for my new posting schedule um if you're wondering when i post a video of a certain game just go over there you will be able to find out my entire schedule um and then also go check out my youtube shorts youtube shorts i'm going to be doing on the daily uh, mostly Beam and G Drive, but I'll have a few Roblox uh, like Greenville and Southwest Florida edits and maybe some uh, ATS edits. Oh, someone invited me to join them, but I can't. 
But anyways, like I said, if y'all like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Comment down below what else I should do. And of course, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, bye bye